Hello students, today we are going to start a new chapter that is the flower and flower you all have seen but uh, we will discuss about the floral details, the structure of flower, the may, uh, reproductive parts, how plant uh, flower is the main uh, reproductive organ of uh, angiosperms. So let's start with the floral details. Floral details like you, uh, this one you can see the di in the diagram, this. these leaf like structures are termed as calyx or uh, sepals, leaf like structures, sepals, group of sepals is termed as calyx. Next to this is colored part. Colored part, colored um, part of flower is the, are the petals and group of petals is term, uh, termed as corolla. Next the reproductive organ, reproductive male and female. Female reproductive organ consists of stigma which is a sticky, hmm, sticky or feathery uh, substances are present in on this uh, area so it is um, the stigma um, a, a stigma is um, trapping the pollen grains or the pollen grains when uh, fall on the stigma they uh, they get trapped or they get attached to it and develop pollen tube so the germination of pollen tube started the stigma stigma contains sticky or substance or moisture in this area then the uh, long slender tubule that is style which ends into a swollen base which is the ovary. Inside the ovary, ovules are present. Ovules are present in a particular manner and that arrangement of ovules inside the ovary on the membranous tissue, that tissue, that tissue is termed as placenta. This is placenta. So, Arrangement of ovules on the placenta is termed as placentation. Next is the, these all three constitute the female reproductive part which is gynecium. Then the male reproductive part which is which consists of anther and filament. Anther and filament together form androsium. Androsium, uh, anther and filament together form the male reproductive structure which is androsium. Now all the four structures that is calyx group of sepal, corolla, which is group of petals, and gynecium and androsium uh, forms four floral whorls. Four floral whorls, out of this four floral whorls, calyx, which is the first floral whorl, corolla, which is the second floral whorl, all these two are termed as non-essential floral whorls. Non-essential because they are not the reproductive structures. They are um, playing a different role which I'll mention uh, in the, afterwards. Then androsium and gynecium forms the third and fourth uh, worlds and these are the essential worlds. Androsium and gynecium are the essential worlds while calyx and corolla are in the non-essential worlds. Now after this, what is the role of calyx and corolla? Calyx, since it is green in color, so it helps um, the role of calyx is photosynthesis photosynthesis and next is protection protection of reproductive structures protective function yeah, or uh, we can write protection next corolla corolla is a bright um, colored part so the role of corolla is attracting attracting insects and birds Second role is protection. Protection of the reproductive structure which is the endosium and gynosium. So these two, these, these are the floral details or with the help of a flower, I will explain you the structure. Like this one, in this, this is a hibiscus flower. In the hibiscus flower, you can see these green leaf like structures. These green leaf like structures they are um, termed as uh, sepals and group of sepals is calyx these this colored part is a, are the petals and group of petal is corolla next to this is in this flower if you can see this one this long slender tubule this one long slender on the top this bright colored uh, feathery uh, bright color 
area which is the stigma then uh, long slender tubule which is the style and which ends into a swollen base in this I have just taken out this one the swollen base you can easily so that it would be easier for you to understand this one this this is the stigma stigma style and this swollen base is the ovary i'll just remove all these non-essential walls after removal of non-essential walls you can see a swollen base at the end this one so this swollen base this this swollen base is the ovary now here if we are arranging this one stigma style and the swollen base is the ovary so there's um, these are the floral details uh, then androsium in the androsium you can see in this one the yellow colored structures arranged on um, fine filaments so these yellow structures are termed as anthers and the filaments with which these are attached to the stigma stigma now in this uh, one more term is in your syllabus which is gamosepalus gamopetalus so if the in this one calyx these sepals are joined together these sepals are not free joined together when they are joined or fused the term used for this is gamosepalus in case of petals the petals are free they are petals are not attached so when they are free polypetalus or polysepalus when they are fused gamosepalus or gamopetalus so gamma word is for fused structure or joint stage while free, uh, free structure is for poly, um, polysepalus and polypetalus. Now let's start with other topics. In the hibiscus flower we have seen you can um, uh, collect flowers at your home and uh, try to dissect or take out the anthers and stigma. And the stigma essential and non-essential work. So uh, every flower is have um, if the flower is a bisexual flower. Now what is bisexual? Let, let me first explain you the bisexual and unisexual structure. And afterwards, after this um, uh, studying this chapter, you all dissect the flower and just study the floral details. So let's start with complete and incomplete flower. Incomplete flower, if all the All four floral walls are present. All four walls present. Now what are all four walls? Calyx, corolla, androsium, gynosium. If all four are present, then the flower is a complete flower. Incomplete. If any of the wall is absent, any of the floral wall, either cal calyx or corolla or androsium or gynosium, Whichever, if any uh, when uh, any of the floral wall is absent, then the condition is incomplete flower. So any floral wall absent, then it is an incomplete flower. Next condition is tepaloid condition. Tepals or sepaloid or petaloid. This condition is. When there is, uh, when it is not possible to make a distinction between sepal and petal, so when we are not, it is not clear that it is a sepal or petal or the color is similar to the, if the color is uh, green, uh, all the sepal and petals are green in color, then the, con the flower is com considered as sepaloid. So if petals are green in color, or like sepals, then the condition is sepaloid. If the sepals are like petals, sepals are colored, then the condition is petaloid condition. So just opposite, sepaloid condition, like sepal, petal, petals are also like sepals, sepaloid, um, petaloid condition, when uh, sepals are like petals, so petaloid condition. Together, the, the common term for this is given as tepal colored structures or similar structure uh, structure 
when distinction is not possible. Next is <coughs> for the arrangement gamocephalus and polycephalus are explained already. Gamocephalus, polycephalus, gamopetalus, polypetalus. Gamophore, fused, fused sepal or petal, fused sepal or petal. While poly word is used for free, free sepal or petal. This two condition. Then is polyandrous condition, polyandrous condition. Androsium, androsium is uh, either free or attached or forming groups. So based on that uh, some, uh, come, uh, structures, if the an anthers or the stamens are free, free stamens for free stamens, condition is polyandrous, polyandrous. Now condition when stamens are joined to form a group, to form a, a group, a single group, then it is monoadelphous. Monoadelphous condition which we have seen in the hibiscus flower. Just now we have seen hibiscus flower, all the anthers or the stamen, uh, all the stamens, they unite to form one. When they unite to form one, example is, uh, which is a uh, monoidal first condition, example is hibiscus. Next uh, condition is, when stamens are in two group. Stamens in two groups. Condition is diadal first. Example, pea plant, pea plant, where the group is 9 plus 1 group. 9 stamens forming 1 group and 1 stamen is separate. So 9 plus 1, uh, this group like this. 9 and 1. So this, if the arrangement is like this, then it is a uh, diadelphous condition forming 2 group. Next condition is polyadelphous. Polyadelphous. Polyadelphous condition when stamens form more than two groups. Example, bombax. Where they form this type of many groups. Many groups together. This one. So this condition is termed as Polyadelphous condition. Now in this chapter one more term is left. Presentation I have already explained. One more term is inflorescence. 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 Inflorescence is arrangement of flower. Arrangement of flower on the stalk on the stalk or pedicel arrangement of flower or um, on the stalk or pedicel what does it mean like in this uh, this is a flower which is fireball flower or hemanthus in this you can see that this is not a single flower so many flowers or many flowers are arranged on a stalk so when many flowers, this is a single flower of this. Here, this is a single flower. So many flowers when arranged on a stalk, the term used for this is inflorescence. And flower, how we can say that these are many flowers? Why, why this is not a single flower? Because flower, if it contains an androsium, gynesium or any of the non-essential word, or if any only the male or female uh, part then it is a flower it is considered as a flower so it contains many flowers arranged on a stalk inflorescence then one more term is unisexual 
and bisexual. Bisexual flower. If in a flower only in the if flower con uh, contains only male or only female reproductive structures and either androsium or gynoecium if any one is present then the flower is a unisexual flower male flower or female flower if both are present then both male and female androsium and gynoecium then it is a bisexual flower this hibiscus we have seen which is a uh, unisexual um, bisexual flower so this is all about the floral details floral structures um, and uh, the uh, structure conditions by uh, which is complete incomplete or unisexual and bisexual condition in the next topic we'll discuss about the tissue so thank you for today's session